welcome to the vlog. Time to go play some poker. Gotta stop the gas, just be warned. There's a bunch of guys up at the golf course playing in the shootout. Guess where I'm going? Gotta take advantage of the nice days. Back in England, January, February, forget playing golf. My goodness. I remember the days where the course I used to play at was so wet, they used to give you a strip of uh, plastic grass. And when you hit your ball, you had to lay it on a strip of plastic grass so that you didn't um, tear big chunks in the soggy turf, you know? God, I hated that. Over here in America, January, no, sorry, February the 1st. Where did January go to? Anyway, February the 1st. Playing golf. 60 degrees he's going to get to today. How good is that? Anyway, tonight, got some poker. Hopefully I get those boys a whooping. That's a good old American term. Kick ass. Never used to say ass over in uh, England. We say arse. <laughs> kick some arse. Or kick butt. Half of what I say is English, half of what I say is American. I, I have no idea anymore some of the English terms I used to use. Like pavement and trunk, hood. Boot, bonnet, <laughs> serviette, napkin, there's millions of them. When I first got over here, I'd go into a store and I'd ask for something and I'd just get that blank look. They hadn't a clue what I was talking about. I'd have to repeat myself four or five times and actually explain it and describe things. And then they go, oh, you mean... It took a long time for me to do that. My favorite story, when I went into a big bookstore in Johnson City once, looking for a book on poker and uh, Daniel Negreanu book, or, you know, I was looking around for a book. And um, I went up to the lady and I said, uh, you got any books on poker, please? And she said, yes, certainly, follow me. So I followed her, and I thought, where is she taking me?
and she starts to show me dancing books and she pulls out this book that said polka and she was like doing some Latin American dance book or something I thought it was hilarious so I laughed and I said no 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 polka 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 and she got all embarrassed and she said oh I'm sorry I'm sorry led me over to the to the right section and I managed to buy a book it was hilarious <laughs> Yeah. I'll show it on the vlog and then you'll be upset. <laughs> <laughs> some poker tonight I'm gonna hopefully go deep I'd like to keep my points lead because I'm uh, leading right now those guys are hot on my tail they started watching the vlog they're getting all those insights into how I play and what I'm thinking and all that and they I don't know I think they think that they're getting some sort of insight it's interesting because um, when I follow the trooper uh, on his vlog since last August when I went to Vegas I wanted some um, ideas on where to play so I follow the troopers vlog he uh, goes around all them different casinos in Vegas so I thought it'd be interesting to see the poker rooms and this down the other so I got some ideas on that but when he shows his hands because he's playing with a lot of guys who follow his vlog um, he doesn't really go into too many details on hand he doesn't do any hand analysis as such he'll go over a couple of hands occasionally but uh, he doesn't I think he said once or twice he doesn't want to you know give too much information to, to those guys about how he plays but he just shows that he is playing uh, me, I'm not too bothered at the moment with the guys that I'm playing with or against um, at the level we're playing. It's um, I find it very, very interesting. Um, I like to mix up my game anyway. Uh, try to keep people guessing. Um, I, you know, I, I could be in a hand with almost anything sometimes. 
I try not to play too straightforward against people all the time because that's just a recipe for disaster. You become too easy to read anyway. So uh, I like to mix it up in certain spots. But if I can uh, improve, and it's like a game of chess, if if they know what I know and they think they know what I'm doing, then I'm going to try to change it a little bit so that they thought I was going to be doing this when I'm really going to be doing it. And I think you've got to do that even with people you don't know. You know, being sat down at a session for a few hours, you know, people are going to try to get that read on you. So, like, um, I, you hear people say, I was really, really tight, had a good table image, and people thought that, uh, so, so then that's the time that you can uh, make a good bluff if the skirt card's on there, or this type of thing. So, that's interesting. And I think you've got to really, really analyze all that sort of stuff and think about that and inject that those types of play into into your own game. like to laugh because I'm always on nearly always anyway the last to arrive sometimes on the tea box when I, I'm the guy that arrives last I don't got a business to run last couple of days I was uh, working my butt off um, updating a couple of websites and uh, you know I've got a business around got clients who expect uh, the, the work to be done uh, I've got some great clients and you know but um, this poker thing gets under your skin and whew, I just love playing poker I forgot to stop for gas I think I should have enough to get uh, 
after the golf to get to the gas station. If not, you may get me pushing my car. Anyway, um, the viewing numbers on the video playing poker at Harris Cherokee seems to be doing really well. You guys seem to have liked that. There was a lot of views on that one. So um, I'll probably repeat that format with other poker rooms. I've got some more footage from Harris Cherokee and some more hands that I can analyze. So I'll maybe do a, uh, a sequel or part B to that one. That'd be uh, nice. Um, more hand analysis on that one probably and then just a little bit of footage of Cherokee um, it's a shame I couldn't have videoed some hands inside the poker room showed the cards and showed the tables that would have been really good um, it's really weird that the poker rooms have different policies from room to room and different city to city and you know, it's all promotion. It's all, it's all um, showcasing the poker room, the casino, uh, people having fun. I, I don't know why some poker rooms say no filming. Security reasons, sure. You know, you know, it, back in the old days, they had uh, worries about. You know, people casing the joints and wanting to steal money and this, that, and the other. Hey, we're talking. We're talking here about a few cards being shown, whole cards being shown, just like they do on TV. What <laughs> if we're not showing any faces and we're just showing the whole cards and then talking about how we played a hand, what position was in, what the pot was, what the stack sizes, stack to pot ratios were, and. Uh, what our thinking was behind our decisions well, that's nothing to do with security but maybe one day but I just love that live poker experience that gladiatorial conquest when you win fantastic anyway I'm here at the golf course bunch of them practicing their putting a little bit like um, practicing your hand selection or going over in your own mind before you start a tournament or a cash game you sort of tell yourself what uh, what cards you're going to play what how you're going to play curveball and all that type of thing it's real funny Down by the lake is real nice. We like to come out here in the summer. Although it's the February the second, it's real a real good day. Look at the sun and the sky, clear blue. Really pretty. It's warm. They're just uh, little lake boats down there. Yeah. How about you? Oh, not too bad. Enjoying the sunshine. Oh, yeah. Getting some photos. <laughs> you got that right. Get if you're new to the channel and you like my stuff uh, welcome aboard if you want to subscribe click the thumbs up button that's always great and uh, share these videos with your friend I'm still trying to get going I've only been doing this for the last few weeks got a bunch of subscribers already uh, thank you for subscribing 
but um, you know, share it amongst your friends. I want to get this stuff out there and let's get this ball rolling.